All right, today we're on Nike day three. Three days in a row, we got a box from Nike. Uh, um, we got what I believe is bait right here and StockX I already opened up because so I had to see it. I couldn't wait for the camera. I had to check it out. Does this look familiar? Yeah, I got another one. Uh, I was actually, well, I obviously wear these, but I'm actually going to make a video about legit checking uh, Supreme, Supreme Headband specifically. Uh, it should be a pretty good video. StockX did mess up. They uh, let some things pass that shouldn't have passed that was authentic, but it wasn't the right item. Now, I just decided to keep it. No big deal. So, But they did mess up. I did bring it to their attention. I did tell them I was going to keep it. What I asked them for was I noticed they needed uh, th some things they don't have pictures of. And what they do is they offer you on some items a $20 credit if you can take a picture and they use it. So that's all I asked. How about you let me give you a couple pictures that I see you need. Give me my credit. That's all. Just make sure my picture gets picked. I'm a photographer so I should be able to take the picture, you know. <laughs> Yes, it is, baby. We got here. We'll open it up. Check it out. This was the bait black with the black reflective shark. The shark T-shirt. You know, let's see, I like the shark T-shirt. This one's the glitter, glitter blue with the glitter zipper, and this one's got reflective because you know reflectives in right now. Just, just how to get the reflective. I have so many bait t-shirts, it's not funny. Personally, like a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. Basically, how do I get my bait shirts without paying, overpaying for them? I definitely do pay retail for them a lot. Uh, sometimes the hot shirts, you know, I'll, I'll buy a few up and then I'll resell them for 150, 160. $175 for a t-shirt, you know, that you get for 100, 120, with, you know, whatever. Um, I mean, I look, I shop, I shop, I shop. There's not too many places. I buy brand new, and there's not new, too many outlets that I have. Uh, my biggest outlet would be Bape and uh, StockX, really. So for some reason on StockX, I don't know what it is, but I put in offers for like under retail and I, I get them. I just get it. And then sometimes people sell it for retail and if it's like shark t-shirts, they sell. So I just, I scoop them up. I mean, I got a nice little collection now. None of that stuff's really listed anywhere. I've been putting it aside for the new shop because I know we're going to need inventory. Like that's the hardest part of what we're doing here. Because the shops, like it's a reselling shop. We're procuring all the items ourselves. It's not that we're, we don't have anything we brought in on commission yet. These, the, everything we have is all brand new stuff: Supreme, Bape, Nike, Adidas, uh, and more, and more. I'm expanding a little bit. Uh, we have a little bit of off white. Uh, I don't know. I'll just do what I can. So that's that. But here's what. Here's what we came here for today. This is today's. Okie dokie now. This is the same coming from Mount Zion Road, Lebanon, Indiana. The Nike warehouse itself. Alright. 
<coughs> so we got an Ikea box with a bunch of writing on it. This is interesting. So it looks like the classic red box with the white Nike on it. And then on the front we have improvise, scavenge, protect, and adapt. And then you have an ISPA with the check mark here. So that's stamped there. It's stamped there. And then you have a Nike check mark stamped there. Oop. Alright, so already this is a little bit different than your typical Nike package that you get from them. As soon as I opened it up, this fell out. So let's check out whatever this is. Oh, look at this little bag here. So it's got the ISPA, their ISPA logo with the Nike check. And then we got our extra laces. Okay, so I pop it open. You had the lace bag on top. You had that special tissue paper there. I haven't seen that yet in any of the boxes I've ever opened. There you go. We got, uh, these are the Nike ISPA Low. They come in a, they do have a high top version as well where the laces come up and they're like slanted on the side. These are different. Really basically, uh, I saw them, I was like, wow, they're pretty different. It looks like, a, it's not like a clean looking shoe. You know, you hear a lot of the YouTubers saying, well, that's a clean shoe, that's a clean shoe. They're not gonna be saying that about this. This isn't a clean looking shoe. See how it's like, it's a little crooked here, that patch, and you know, you got your pull tabs like right here where you've never seen it before. You got your laces that come down across it like this, which you've really never seen before. You never seen them start here and then there, which is a little different. They are different. Now, I, like I always say, I appreciate the YouTubers that come out there and bring us the shoe, they show us the shoe before it actually hits hits the shelves. I definitely appreciate that. I like those videos. My videos are a little bit different because I'm gonna get the shoe, I'm gonna open the shoe, but for the most part, all the shoes that I'm personally gonna wear, which, you know, it's getting to be a lot now, I'm gonna test them out, I'm gonna put them on my feet, I'm gonna tell you what the fitment's like for them, so that you know just in case you want them, and I'm gonna give you a little rundown on it if, if there's anything uh, extra special about it, I'm going to let you guys know. These are definitely different. Look what I just noticed here. See how that lace is brought down on the side and that little lace holder? <laughs> like, what is that? It got a little lace holder there. I, I mean, these are different. I'm going to have to uh, have to figure out how I'm going to tie these and what's going on. But, no, let's put them on the feet. Let's see what's up. Now, is that just a way to keep my laces out of the way while I'm... Uh, while I got them in storage. So here's the first thing I noticed. Once I loosened those laces up, I went to go pull the tongue up like I always do to put your foot in. This tongue extended. Right away, this tongue extended all the way up. So here it was here. And it's pretty neat how they have this tongue folded. So when you push it down, it goes into place. And when you pull it up, it like extends. I guess that's so you can get your foot in there real easy. I mean, already this is different. Is. I'm going to pull that out of that side part, pop my tongue up, insert thy foot, oh wow, slides right in, these are comfortable as can be, it's got this weird like tip to it, anyway, let's lace these puppies up, alright, pull them tight, now watch close, it's a little bit different than your typical shoe, I'm going to pull both to eat to the same side, you see that they're both coming out the same side loop it around to the back and tie it off once i loop it around to that back part put it up underneath tie that off and then just tie it like i do a normal shoe i'm gonna go ahead and go try these out and i'll let you guys know what i think of them i'll be back on the next video we'll make that part two have a good day have a good night have a good whatever it is wherever you're at and i'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.